In this video, I am going to upgrade my HP Z440 with an RTX 3090. If you are just here for the installation, feel free to skip ahead. But before I begin with the installation, I want to quickly cover a few things which has been asked in my previous video, where I have showed how to install RTX 3060 in HP Z440. So the questions like why I am doing this upgrade, the power supply unit I am using, and what are the limitations to keep in mind. In my last video about installing a 3060 in this same machine, I got a lot of questions around the power draw, airflow, compatibility, and real-world performance. So I'm gonna address those up front. So before we begin with the installation, here's the spec of my machine. As you know, it's an HP Z440 workstation. The CPU I'm using is Xeon E52673 V3. That's a 12 core 24 thread CPU. I have got 32 GB of DDR4 ECC RAM. And for this video, I'm using my second HP Z440 machine to demonstrate 3090 installation. The power supply in the stock is 700 watt and I've used the RTX 3090 in this machine for over six months without any issue. So the most important question, why I upgraded? I use this machine mainly for AI work, training models, testing pipelines, running local inference. If you have seen my other videos, you know I like experimenting with different tools, including AI video generation. The RTX 3060 was fine for a while, but with just 12 GB of RAM, I started hitting limits, especially with the larger models or batch runs. Some models didn't load at all, and some models crash half through. And that's why I decided to upgrade to RTX 3090. So I found a second-hand card on Marketplace for $450, and it's been running solid for over 6 months with no issues at all. So RTX 3090 has 24 GB of VRAM, which gives me plenty of room to play with different kinds of AI models. It also supports NVLink, so if I ever want to scale up with a second card, I have the options too. For my use case, it was the most practical upgrade without switching to a completely new system. Before you drop a 3090 into a Z440, there are a few things to check. First, power supply. The Z440 comes with two PSU variants, 525W and 700W. I am using the 700W one, which is about the bare minimum for a 3090, especially under full load. Second, power connectors. The 3090 I'm using needs two 8-pin connectors. Since the stock PSU doesn't have those, I'm using one 6 to 8-pin adapter and another made from dual SATA to 8-pin. Not ideal, but it's been stable under load. If you can upgrade to a PSU with proper 8-pin lines, that's definitely a safer route. Third, size and airflow. The 3090 is huge, and in this Z440, the side panel doesn't close. I used to place a small external fan near the card and set up Grafana alerts for temps. If it crosses 75 degrees Celsius, I pause the job or cool the room. And by the way, as I mentioned earlier, this is my second Z440 machine. My main build is already in a new case with better airflow. I have made a separate video on that case upgrade, so feel free to check it out if you are planning to do the same. Installing 3090 in a Z440, it's pretty straightforward, but there are a few things to keep in mind. Make sure your BIOS is up to date. I didn't need to change anything in the BIOS, but it's always safer to be on the latest version. Then, remove the side panel and pop out if you have any old GPU in it. The 3090 is a big card, so you'll need to shift some cables out of the way and gently slide it into the X16 PCI slot. Once it is seated properly, connect your power cables. Like I mentioned earlier, I used a 6 to 8 pin adapter and a dual SATA to 8 pin for the second connector. Double check all the connections, make sure the GPU fans spin up when you power on, and you should be good. Once the card was installed, I booted straight into the windows, no BIOS tweaks needed. The system detected the 3090 right away. Installed the latest NVIDIA drivers, and everything was up and running in minutes. I set up Grafana to monitor GPU usage, VRAM, and temperature in real time. During most of my work, GPU utilization was 100% and VRAM usage stays close to full and it's handled that consistently. I have set up alerts to notify me if temperature crossed 75 degrees Celsius, which gives me time to either pause jobs or cool the room. This setup has saved me from overheating multiple times. When I was using RTX 3060, I ran Cinebench and got around 7000 points. After switching to the 3090, the score jumped to 16,000, so more than double the raw GPU performance. And it's not just benchmarks. Even lower-end models now run twice as fast. For heavier models, I am seeing 100% GPU utilization and VRAM usage often crossing 20 GB, and it stays stable under the load. As I mentioned earlier, my CPU is an E52673 V3, which works fine for most tasks. 
but in some workflows you might notice CPU bottlenecks. Something to keep in mind if you are using a similar workstation setup. As long as you properly handle power, airflow, it can handle full AI workloads without any issue. For my use case, it's been a reliable upgrade. More VRAMs, faster performance, and a lot of headroom to play with bigger models. And if you are planning to improve airflow, I have already swept my main system into a better case. It makes all the difference, looks beautiful, and it doesn't look anywhere near like a 10 year old PC. So if you are interested, feel free to watch it. Link of that video is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.